When you see that field of blue, you know it can be only one place in the world. Boise, Idaho, on the campus of Boise State and home to the fabled giant killers, the Boise State Broncos. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the Nevada Wolfpack, taking on the 16th ranked team in the land, the Boise State Broncos. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Nevada about to kick it off to get this game started. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So Boise State's offense will have the first possession of the game. There are always butterflies to start a game, but when you have a rivalry like this, the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive, guys. They aren't all the same. We say that, but we know differently. The blood is boiling. The temperature is hot. Jesse, you want this week more than most. Yeah, and David, we played in these games before. Everything just seems to be heightened, right? The game seems to be moving faster. The crowd noise feels louder. Your composure will be tested early in a game like this. The Broncos are in the hurry up. and throws off the RPO. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. They have had to wear that beat down since the last time these two met, Jesse. And they've been talking about it for a long time. They were absolutely embarrassed. The players, the coaches, the fans. You know David coming into this game this time. They want to put out a much better performance. Oh, there's nothing worse. The coaches are riding you all week leading up into this game, reminding you, showing the clips in the locker room. You know you failed. You want to come out and get a great start in this football game early. It's important on offense in the passing game. You gotta have balance. And I mean, you gotta be able to attack different thirds of the field. You gotta work the perimeter to both sides. You gotta let the defense know, too, that you're not afraid to go over the middle. And they did right there. With the run on first and goal. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And a nice job by the running back. Finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. They've moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. They'll run it to the left. Looking for the touchdown here. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Broncos! They can use this first score to sort of set the tone, guys, in this rivalry matchup. Man, doesn't this feel good to come out, score early, get the crowd involved, get the nerves out of the way, Palmer, when you're playing in a big rivalry game? Yeah, and, and I feel like momentum is always a big thing in any game, but in rivalry games, it's that much more important because everybody is going to feed off that first score now. Lining up to add another. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So Nevada's offense has its first opportunity of the day. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Right back to him on the ground. 
They knock him down, but not before he gets it out to the 21-yard line. Pick up a four. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. They're facing a third down. Lewis to throw. Finds his tight end. Didn't get enough to move the sticks, but enough to leave them with the decision. And the defense did a great job. Understanding the sticks, rallying to the football, getting them on the ground. And you're right, Reese. Fourth and short. That means decision time. Or for us, Greenland. Go for it. Nevada will be forced to punt. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. Waves the arm for the fair catch, and the catch is made close to the 30-yard line. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. They've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Running back searching for a hole. They opened the lane, and he hit it again of five out to the 33. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. It'll be third and short from their own 33. From the gun, wants to pass. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. Simple call, excellent execution, moves the sticks on third down. These QBs and receivers, man, they run this route in practice thousands of times. So it's nice to see them come out here and execute it in game conditions. Great job with the timing. Great job with the depth and the route. Nice work between those two. Give to the running back. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. Runs first down, and the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They make the stop right at the 30-yard line, but it's a 10-yard pickup and a first down. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Trying to surprise him with the pass. Fires to the big fella. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Well, a nice completion there, finding the tight end. And what's so beautiful about that is while they didn't get the first, they were able to pick up enough yards now to make the third down manageable, really putting this offense in a good position. Headed to the line at the 23, trying to convert this third and short. Nice move there. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. It's a really nice job of the offense mixing it up on this drive. We've seen some nice plays throwing it. How about that one running it to great push up front. And the Broncos have it with a first and ten. Might as well give it to him again. Tough running this deep in the red zone. He's got four down to the 11. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring.
On second down, he'll let it fly. And it's incomplete. He was looking to the end zone and trying to get six. You know, it's a good decision by the QB because his intended target wasn't open, so throw it out of bounds, and you can live to play another day here on this drive. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Touchdown, Broncos! And they made it to the house when they found that six points waiting on them. There have been miniseries, novels, movies, long-form plays that have been over in a shorter period of time than that drive. That was a marathon. And that's just so frustrating when you're a defensive guy time and time again trying to get the stops, and they just keep making the plays, and they punch it in for a touchdown? Demoralizing. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 14-0. They took it 71 yards down the field, and they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Nevada takes over as the offense returns to the field. Got his man down the middle. Now they've got a little room to work with. They're out to the 28 with a first down. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. Your record in rivalry games is so... And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. We're already in the first quarter, but already you get the feeling this could be a long day for this QB. He's already been sacked. He gets hit right there on the incomplete throw. They've got to find a way to do a better job up front of protecting this guy, or it's going to be difficult to put up points. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He's got great speed. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. Boise State ready to send out that offense. Caught in the backfield, it's Genty. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, it's still short of the first down. You know, the short passing game is a great go-to weapon for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable, obviously, but it also allows you to see how the defense is going to react and play you. So for coordinators, this can really open up the rest of your playbook for the rest of the game. Looking at a second and short now. From the gun, running back on the move. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. That's the end of the quarter, and Boise State has the lead. Man, that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. To the air on first down. Got his man downfield. 
Touchdown, Boise State! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. When these offenses get in a rhythm, they're hard to stop. Already up early, got a short field, take advantage of it too, get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with a 44-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Crawford. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he had just taken a knee in the end zone. Nevada takes over as the offense returns to the field. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession again. The offense is going to have to score, and Jesse probably score pretty quickly. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. This time on target. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. Well, they execute the in route, and how about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. Nevada going quickly. He'll do it himself. Still running at the 40. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he gets a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. Yeah, he does a really good job being decisive, getting downhill, being a great runner. And guess what? You know how easy offense is when you get me at second and short, second and medium? Everything in the playbook is open to me. Now on second and short. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Now improvising. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. This is not going to get any easier. You're already down. You know it's passing situation. And you got to protect your quarterback, and they can't do it. This has not been a great day early for this offense. Ball is at the 41 as this defense tries to force the punt on third and long. Lewis wants to pass. Unloads it left. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. The Wolfpack will line up to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Hauls it in, looking for space. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. He lobs one high down the left side. And it's caught inside the 20. That is just a gargantuan play as he has it all the way down to the 12. And that had to be a coverage bust on defense. There is no rhyme or reason why a receiver should be that wide open, that deep down the field. Defense, they better check themselves.
They say it's still a game of field position, and that last one just flipped this baby. They've got it first and ten in the red zone. Running right the red zone, it's Genty. They'll give him four yards on the carry. It's down at the eight-yard line. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Quarterback on the keeper. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it, too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's... Throw into the end zone. And it's picked off. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And that's just excellent coverage. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board, and you still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open, and if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it into tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. Nevada takes over as the offense returns to the field. They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point, Dave. Yeah, nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now, chip into this lead, try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to the half. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. Lewis to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. The Wolfpack will have to bring the punt team onto the field. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He gets a block. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Out of the gun to give to the back. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Just a savvy, veteran, productive run from this junior. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it, get the first down, don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. You've got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. Looking for a crease. It's Genty. Ripping through the defense. Touchdown, Broncos! He would not be denied. Anytime you've got a successful run play on the ground, you've got to have great blocking up front. The offensive line, receivers, everybody doing their job. And that helped lead to the home run.
On to attempt the try. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And he put an exclamation point on that drive with a 29-yard touchdown. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. Nevada takes over as the offense returns to the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little man. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. You don't get a lot of chances like that in games, guys. Take shots downfield, and when you get open, you got to finish the play, and the wideout's going to wish he had that one back. Now it's second and 10 from the 15. Lewis wants to pass. Makes a grab over the middle. Makes a catch and knock down. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long gains. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. Wow, this offense is just stuck in the mud. They've already punted four times, and it's third down now. Pressure coming. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. Nevada will be forced to punt. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Playing the field position game as he makes the fair catch right at the 50. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Finds a tight end. And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. Really good concept there to get things going and use the tight end early. Yeah, I mean, just such a great job on first down, setting up an easier second down. Understanding I don't always have to push the ball down the field, but see the tight end, make the throw. No, it's not a big gain, but makes life really easy on me on second down. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Shotgun snap on third down. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. That's not an easy throw to hit, I will say. A dagger throw, it takes time to develop. You really got to sell the route. And the quarterback has got to put that in an area and anticipate the throw. Just not on the same page with his receiver on that one. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. Lewis to throw. Coming after it. He's right on target. Tackle is made at the 22, but a nice 10-yard pick up there. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Looking to go up top on first down got him downfield and he almost ran away from everybody on that one a huge pickup on that play we got a timeout here late in the first half and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break he's gonna pass they're trying to get to it the offense burns its third and final timeout of the half well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. And that was a nice throw by the QB. When you see that drag route coming across the field, how about putting the ball right on his numbers? Not high, not low, where he has to stop his momentum. 
right on the numbers where he can catch it, keep running, and chew up some yards after the catch. On third down, going up top. Pocket starts to collapse. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. The Wolfpack will line up to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. Oh, this is a bad, bad shank. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. And holding on to a first-half lead, this offense will play it safe, take a knee, and head to the locker room. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. The Broncos will boot it away to start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Good news, I guess. A lot of room to work with as they start this drive from their own 15. Got a man. It's Smith. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Yeah, and you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understand the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. Setting up for a first and 10 from the 26. He leaves it with the back. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened there. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. He'll run it again. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Last two runs got a big, fat nothing. Let's see if they try to go up top on third and ten. Lewis wants to pass. He hurls one deep down the left side. And trying to put points on the board on third down, now they're staring at fourth down. And that's how pressure on a quarterback can affect the passing game. They were able to get after him on that play, and as a result, the QB made a bad decision, forcing that football into double coverage. The Wolfpack will have to bring the punt team onto the field. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. Off the play fake on first down. Fires to the wideout. What a snag by the defense. And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. What a big, game-changing play. I love when you see defensive players they jump on the ball like they were the offensive guy so aggressive going and getting that pick creating some big mojo for your team Nevada takes over as the offense returns to the field David the putter got some work last time they'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive yeah and it's not something you want to say very often you don't want the punter out there this offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. After the misfire, it's second and 10. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. He's moving out of the pocket. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. 
And this offensive line's got to do a better job. Man, you've got to protect your quarterback. Listen, this offense is not playing great. they got to somehow find a way to start to get something together here in the second half. Got quite a ways to go to keep this drive going. It's third down from the 45. Lewis to throw. Firing to the right complete. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. That's why, as a defense, you feel okay playing man coverage on third down because you know you've got linebackers and you've got players on your defense that can cover these dangerous running backs mano y mano. Nice job tackling in the open field. On fourth down, they'll pass for it. Makes the catch. It's Smith. Tackle is made after the first down. Really nice job by the offense. Hey, man, trust your guys, right? We got all these analytics on fourth down saying to go for it. They trust their quarterback. He gets it done with the completion and gets the big first down. Wolfpack will have first and ten. The give to the single back. Trying to impose their will on the ground as he stopped after a five-yard pickup to the 33. I think one of the hardest things to do is stick to the run when it's not working. But it's those runs right there that are the reason why you have to do it, right? You can't get too one-dimensional. Keep slipping those runs in there. Keep getting a little bit of positive yards. Next thing you know, you'll look up and you might break one of those after you got them a little bit tight. Got it. In the middle, it's Henry. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. They probably feel good about their field goal chances from the 29, but they'd love to convert this third and short. Didn't have much of a choice. Just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. Facing this double-digit deficit here in the second half, almost a no-brainer to go for it on fourth down. Try to get it on the ground. Looks like the Wolfpack will pick up the first down. This has become almost automatic. Fourth and one, go for it. They did, and they got it. No doubt about it. No discussion. I don't need to consult my offensive coordinator. I don't need to consult my defensive coordinator. We're going for that, and we're going to get it, and we're going to go for it. And if we don't get it, we're going to go for it the next time. Shut down and shut out in the first half, but finally this offense trying to put something together. Got it behind the line. It's Henry. And there is nothing doing on that one. You got the completion and nothing else to show for it. That's a great example of the defense there tackling the catch. As soon as the big fella caught the ball, down he went, not picking up the first. After losing a couple of yards, it's now second and 12 as they try to keep this drive moving. Trying play action. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback bought some time, but not enough. Down he goes with the sack. If your job is to irritate, to confuse, to hit, to make quarterbacks feel very uncomfortable, this defense is definitely doing their job. Six sacks, that's the way to make the quarterback feel like he's having a hard day. He's had no response. This offensive line has no response. Just a sack party. They'll snap it for the 10th time on this drive, but they need a chunk on third and long. Lewis wants to pass. Complete to the right. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. I really like this offense staying aggressive. They were in field goal range, but nice job on third down. Forget that. Let's go get the first down. Let's throw the football. Nice read, nice catch. Now set up with a first and goal situation. They'll run it on first and goal. And they're finally able to get him on the ground at the one. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. 
Boy, if that first down play was any indication, they might walk this thing in on second and goal. Trying to surge it in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Nevada! Oh, the offense shows some life here and cuts into the lead with that score. And, man, they needed it. They had to have something to go right. Listen, still down, but this is a great start to getting back in this ballgame. They'll try to tack one more on their score. The extra point is good, but they're still down 28-7. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. The returner will field it and try to get some field position. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Ready to fire from the pistol. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. Can't get him to the ground. Well, this defense obviously knows they have to be able to stop the run now in the second half if they're going to win this game. And you wonder if they were able to make some tweaks and some adjustments at halftime, maybe getting some more bodies close to the line of scrimmage to give themselves a chance to come back in this game. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. He's looking to throw. Trying to get to him. He'll try to do it himself. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't. And he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. They'll give it to the back. Just ran over it. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Here on third down for this offense. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes his connection. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. If you're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. And the Broncos look to keep this drive humming. Comes out throwing on first down. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. Oh, man. The quarterback almost just threw his second interception on as many drives. He's trying to fit that football in there. It gets tipped up in the air. He's lucky that wasn't picked off. Sixth play of the drive coming up. On second down, he'll let it fly. A little screen to the running back. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Well, they pick up the first down there on the screen. I love the offensive line there, allowing the pass rush to get way up the field. They completely baited their guys, made them think that they got beaten, that they were going to get the sack, and then they sneak the running back screen right in behind them and pick up the first. And he was able to pick up a few yards on the ground, and the clock has run out here in the third. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen.
One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. Looking for space. It's Genty. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. That's a really good stop by the defense. Jesse, they need a few more. You've given up a bunch of yards on this drive and a bunch of plays, but all that matters is keeping them off the scoreboard. Yeah, it's that bend-don't-break mentality you're seeing right now, and this is the point where this defense has just got to lock in. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. Looks as if this will be a 51-yard attempt. Between the uprights, it's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. Coming out with it, it's Hayes. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Nevada takes over as the offense returns to the field. Running back goes in motion. Going up top on first down. Caught. Moves it out to the 34-yard line. A nice 15-yard gain on that one. Here's the deal. You're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're going to come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. Lewis to throw. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Ball still spotted at the 34. It's second and 10 after the incompletion. Quarterback now on the run, still looking. And midfield, he's got room. And he was off to the races, and he gets it to the 45. This guy just gives you nightmares. I mean, he's just got so much electricity. He just pulls it down and chews up yards like it's nothing. That's a quarterback. A quarterback doing that to your defense. Nevada comes to the line after getting the first down. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Trying to find his man on first down. And the quarterback is snowed under. I think this quarterback now at this point is looking over to the sideline saying, hey, can we just not throw it anymore? I mean, my guys, they can't block for me. I've got no chance back here. We need to just run the ball from this point out. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. And this veteran quarterback just overshot his man that time. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. It's hard to run a route or get lost near the sidelines and understand exactly where you're at. Nice job understanding I was starting to get close to the sidelines, throttling down a little bit, catching the football and making sure I was in bounds. They're throwing for it on fourth down. Makes the grab and it's plenty for the first down. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. 
The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Feeling some heat. It's complete to the right. They make the stop, but the sweet throw and catch is plenty to give them a first down. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. And now a big third down coming up. Down multiple possessions. This is one, Palmer, I'm looking for six. I'm not trying to kick a field goal. I want to cut into this lead with a touchdown. No, you got to have it. And also, considering all that, this is four down territory, too. So you need to identify who are your best players on offense and how can you give them a chance. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. The defense is just killing it. Success after success after success. If I'm the offense, I got to change something up, or my quarterback's going to be forced to change because he's going to be in the injury team. There is no point in a field goal here, so the offense stays on the field on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Let's it go to the end zone. And it's incomplete and the defense holds. Three tight ends in the formation on first and ten. The give to the back. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. That's such a nice start to this drive, too, because you've got the lead late and you want to run the football. You want to be physically dominant. The defense knows you're going to do it. And still, on the very first play of the drive, you're able to rip off a long run like that. Great vision there and a nice job up front with the surge by the O-line. Now on the option. He'll pitch it. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. And that's what this option will do to you. They got the pitch man free, and he was off to the races. Man, sometimes it just gets frustrating, and you've just been beat down all day. This defense hasn't had answers, but now you can't let them run the football and just run it down your throat and be physical. This defense has to do something different and find a way to make something happen. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. At the 40, there he goes. And there they go again with another huge gain on the ground. He's finally run out of bounds. Yeah, this offense has had their way with this defense, and they've had a lot of success. And I tell you what, if this defense wants any chance of coming back, they better get physical and stop the run because right now this offense is having their way. The Broncos come to the line with a new set of downs. Trying the left side. They make the stop, give him three yards on the carry. Ball's at the 24. It's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. To the ground with the back. Discards a man. Stop is made almost immediately. Give him one to the 23. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away.
from here, it would just be a 30-yard field goal try. Let's see how aggressive they're going to be to try to pick up that first down. The give on the counter. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the defense finally able to make a play, getting a tackle for loss. They haven't had many of those today because this running back really has answered the bell. They knew coming in they were going to have to give him the football, force feed it to him, and let him go to work. He's done that. Well over 100 yards rushing in this game, and the defense just has not had the answers consistently for him. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And now the lead is even bigger. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Nevada takes over as the offense returns to the field. Lewis wants to pass. This one has pretty much been a bludgeoning, but they'll try to finish with something positive late. Well, they ran into a buzzsaw today, and I don't think it would matter what type of X's and O's they're out there executing, David. Jimmy's and the Joes, they just... They're just not as good as the opponent today. And, and as an athlete, it sometimes hits you in the face and it stinks, but you're not good enough. And today they were not good enough. And I'm going to do the best I can to try to flush this down the toilet, not remember it, forget it, move on for the next game. Maybe it's something right here I can create positive that carries over to practice and maybe next week. And, and this defense has put a game together. Like It is hard to put... All the facets of defense together, run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell they were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game today. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. Gonna throw it to the right, he's got his man. Touchdown, Wolfpack! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. And a nice touchdown, continuing to fight, continuing to play, this one, it's pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. It would take a miracle, but nice job by this offense continuing to fight, push the ball down the field, make plays. Getting set for the point after. And it's up and good. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it in style with a 57-yard toss for six. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Boise State ready to send out that offense. They'll leave it with him. They're in command of this game. Now let's see if they tried to rub a little salt in the wound or happy with getting the W. Yeah, and listen, this, this makes the post-game handshake fun sometimes. If you do choose to rub a little salt in it and keep chucking and keep scoring, I'm here for it, Jesse. Like, your job is to score points. It's my job to stop it. Keep the foot to the accelerator. Keep trying to play ball. I agree a thousand percent. That's like Steve Spurrier back in the day when I was playing for the Gators. You go and play for him because you want the opportunity to, to throw the ball. So when you get in the game late, you're not handing it off. We were beating Central Michigan by 80-something points. He was still letting us throw the football. It's the defense's job to stop you. 